The aim to this is really, um, you know, if we look at um, a lot of debate at the moment, claims are always being made about we live in a very connected world, we live in an increasingly mobile world. But well, we might stop for a second and ask if that's actually true. If we look, for example, at the US, the number of car trips made by people. On average, we're looking at about 2,800 trips per year for the average family. But yet, if we actually look closely at that, if you earn less than $10,000 a year, you'll make many less trips. If you earn over $80,000 a year, you'll make well in excess of 5,000 trips a year. So there's huge inequalities within that. Um, if we look at communication, in 2014, global internet use, global internet users um, is said to be closing on 3 billion. But yet again, if we look at that, most of those users are in Europe, North America and Asia. So there's very big gaps um, in terms of who's connected, who's communicating. And again, if we looked at somewhere like Saudi Arabia, if we came back to car use, um, there's no public transport system in a city like Riyadh and women aren't allowed to drive their own cars. They, they rely on their husbands or chauffeurs to drive them around. So there's real inequalities here in terms of who is able to move around, um, who is able to communicate. So what this module aims to do is it move beyond sort of um, understandings of, of us all as connected, um, of us all as mobile but also beyond simple understandings that view mobility and communications as simply means of, conduct, um, of, as means of connecting dots on a map, um, of getting from A to B, of shrinking distances. So of course mobility does all those things, but it's, it's also a lot more. So what this module intends to do is introduce you to debates and trends in mobility and communication and provide a framework to understand um, those changes and the uneven geographies um, and inequalities that are produced. In a broad sense, you'll, you'll look at how forms of mobility and communication, and we're talking from container ships to bikes, from mobile phones to undersea cables, um, and how, th how these have reshaped society and space and continue to do so. So to take an obvious example, we might talk about the car. Now it's very easy to see the car as a product of um, the way our cities are planned and the way that we interact. But really the car has had more to do with producing the way that our cities are planned and the way that we interact, the way that we shop, the way that we communicate with each other. Um, so we have to see mobility as productive of particular social relations and spatial forms. And if we look again at the car, um, car use has become increasingly politicised and moralised. We're encouraged not to use our cars but, you know, we, we, we could ask the question, is that fair and are, are cars really beyond redemption? Through a series of ethnographic uh, exercises, film screenings, uh, lectures and seminars, this module uh, invites you to critically explore um, a whole host of issues in depth, um, from the ways that blogging can inform transport policy, from the way that HDV design is implicated in cyclist fatalities, um, from the ways which portable technologies are reshaping our experiences of travel and the ways in which mobility is represented in film, to name just a few.